hi, me again with the Batman Beyond. <laughs> um, I just got this issue today. It's number four of six, so that means there's only two left. And um, I read it pretty much as soon as I got home, in between work and um, spending the last couple minutes with um, Mike, who's working overnight, sad face. Um, so, yeah, I read it within 10 minutes, and, um, wow, <laughs> um, I'm going to say right now that, um, I'm going to talk about it, talk about everything that happened in it, so there's spoilers, so if you haven't read it, if you have a desire to read it and you haven't read it yet, just stop this now and go read it before you watch it, or if you don't care about spoilers, fine, knock yourself out. Okay, so obviously the person who's posing as Hush was revealed, and um, we know that um, Harry McGinnis, who is the new Batman, um, talked to, uh, just finished, you know, he's talking to, he talked to Dick Grayson, and, um, what's his name, sent him to talk to Dick Grayson to, um, Tim Drake, sorry, I have no brain right now, um, and, um, so, um, Dick Grayson, a.k.a. Nightwing, a.k.a. the third Robin, first Robin, don't quote me on that, sorry, I know all the Batman fans are, like, really, like, throwing daggers at me right now, um, and, um, so, he, uh, you know, showed, um, Terry, you know, told Terry, oh, you know, I, 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 you know, I don't get along with Batman, but I, uh, I wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't make me want to kill anyone, and, you know, here's some receipts and stuff for, you know, as an alibi for where I was, and blah, 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 and Terry's like, okay, and then he runs into the Catwoman again, who, or doesn't run into her again, I'm sorry, I don't even know what I'm talking about, that was in the beginning of the book, they showed the Catwoman again, she basically got her ass kicked by this hush guy, and then she ended up getting away, and so we still don't know entirely what her deal is and stuff, I don't know how they think they're going to cover that in the next two issues, I don't know, um, but anyway, then, um, Terry kind of lures the guy posing as Hush, um, into an alley, and, uh, he, you know, fights with him a little bit, and then, um, we get to the very last page, where Hush's mask bandages get ripped off, and he says, no more pretenders, he's referring to Batman here. No more tricks to keep me from my duty. It's just me and Bruce now. And once I end this era of protecting Gotham, the Dick Grayson era can truly begin. So. So, okay. Apparently it's Dick Grayson. His face is kind of shadowed, so it's kind of hard to tell. Like, it could be someone just saying, saying that, maybe. But, you know, because if you look at his face, it's in shadow, so it could be said that, oh, you know, it's another guy with dark hair, and blah, blah, blah. Um, but my thing is, is what motive would Dick Grayson have for this? Like, why would he do this, and how could he possibly be in two places at once? And we've already kind of... It's weird, because we've already had the whole, you know, Dick Grayson being taken over as, you know, the new Joker, you know. He had that weird Joker virus where he turned into the Joker. And that was in the movie, if you missed it. Like I said, spoiler, sorry. But not sorry, actually, because I warned you. <laughs> um, so, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know that I like this idea. I think it's kind of overused. And um, I didn't read the Hush graphic novels. Um... But Mike pointed out that in the Hush graphic novels, I guess, um, Jason Todd, there's something to do with, like, Jason Todd and Hush, like, 
I think I think it was he said that um Hush was pretending to be Jason Todd or Jason Todd was dressing as Hush or something. I don't remember. Like I said, I have no brain right now. Um so again with the whole sidekick gone bad, it's kind of I don't know. I think it's kind of overplayed. But up until now the writing's been really good and maybe maybe it won't be such a like you know, maybe it'll be, I don't know, maybe there'll be another explanation for it. Maybe it's some gr guy that's crazy and wants Dick Grayson to be, like, the big guy, even though, you know, because Dick Grayson used to be Nightwing or whatever. Maybe he's, like, a huge Dick Grayson fan and just, you know, is trying to promote him in an unhealthy way. But, I don't know. So I guess we'll see. Um, so like I said, two issues left kind of sucks. I'm hoping that they will start a new arc with a different artist. Although I have to say in this issue the art wasn't too too bad, but there were some parts that again I was just like, hold on that's just like some preview for something else. Like here the art is really nice. I actually really like it here. It looks great. Sorry I was holding that really quick and I'm sorry. But there's a couple panels that were just like I don't know, maybe just sloppy, like maybe they're just throwing this together, because the art isn't horrible, it, it just looks bad at times, like, I mean, I know the characters don't look entirely like the way that they did in the Bruce Timm and Paul Denny series, the, you know, original Batman Beyond, but it just feels kind of sloppy at times, I don't know, like, there's Dick Grayson, and he looks, he looks pretty good, he looks like he's supposed to, see, like, I don't know, but Terry could find him. He wore the bat suit in most of this issue. And I don't know. But you know, even the Catwoman, like she looks good and I don't know. So, you know, maybe they'll use another artist and maybe um hopefully we'll get another arc. Um, so leave me your thoughts. Um and let me know what you think about this as a whole and what you think is gonna happen. And uh See you soon.